c'est magnifique. Ma gourmet tour continue dans la plus grande région des Pyrénées. The Relax Sunday Farmers Market of Tarbes, the largest town of the region, is the perfect place to discover the local best. The food is rustic and so natural. Le haricot tarbes named after this town is the most popular speciality of the region. Delicious in cassoulet, in soups and in salads. At the Market Café, I can't resist a taste of the jambon. It is one of the finest dry hams in Europe. It is made from a black pig breed called Porc Noir de Périgord that almost became extant 40 years ago. Now, about 50 dedicated local farmers follow very strict free-range guidelines to obtain meat of great finesse for the table and, of course, ham. I have been invited by Jean-Renan Fallip of the Salaison de la Dour to tour his family company that transformed the pig legs into the exquisite ham, Jambon Noir de Bigorre. The process starts by salting the fresh meat twice with 30 grams of salt per kilogram. And this salt is uh, salt from uh, Salis de Béarn, just uh, 14 uh, kilometers from this place. Once the salting process is finished, the ham are transported into a temperature control room to rest and be careful for several months before being dried and refined. In this place, there is a hair come from the windows here, in the front and in the back. They are drying here, but they are drying softly. They dry with the uh, hot hair from Spain, but softly with the hair from Atlantic Ocean with humid. It's very unique here. It's a place you can find nowhere in the world. This has to be one of the best ham I've ever tasted. Très bon. This upside down peach tart is one of my favorite desserts. First, I place 50 grams of butter, 120 grams of sugar, and one star anise in a skillet on medium heat and cook until it starts to brown. I remove the star anise, then neatly place a single layer of just right peach segments on top and cook for about five minutes. This dessert is more successful if the peaches are touching each other. Next, I top the peaches with a circle of puff pastry to cover them and ease the sides of the pastry down between the peaches and the pan. I bake the tart in the oven at 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then I rest it for about 10 minutes before turning it out. This tart au pêche is a delicate, fruity pleasure. Tomorrow, the feast continues in the Pyrenees as I spend the day in a farm with a cheese master.